Hey, what's going on everybody? So today <clears throat> we're going to be doing a review on a company called 106 and their products. So today we're going to be reviewing their grape diamond sugar wax. Y'all, 106 is a fantastic company. They've been they've been in Colorado doing their thing for some years now and their quality is always always on point. They're always putting out great stuff. Oh, smells so good. The Grape Diamonds. So the Grape Diamonds is actually a phenotype <clears throat> of a particular strain. That particular strain is called Member Berries. And in case of, for those of you who don't know what phenotypes are, so basically there's a strain floating out there called Member Berries, right? And this specific strain that is floating out there came from a seed. That particular seed came from a plant of which produced other seeds, right? So when that one member berry seed was popped, whoever grew it really loved how it smelled, really loved how the bud structure looked, really, really just loved everything about it, how it smoked, what have you. So they put that on the market called it member berry because it came from the member berry plant. Now, every seed that comes from this particular plant or in any plant, when we're talking about cannabis, every single seed that comes from that same plant is a phenotype. It's kind of like brothers and sisters. So every single seed that you pop from that same plant is not going to give you the same traits every time. Those traits are called phenotypic traits or physical traits that you can see and smell. So if this particular cultivar right here is a phenotype of member berry, it's literally just another seed that was popped from that member berry original plant that had all those seeds, right? And it just has different phenotypic traits. Instead of calling it member berry one, two, three, four, five, some people just like to completely rename it. So that way it just confuses people. <laughs> no, honestly, it's for marketing purposes, but it really does confuse people. So this stuff is super great. Um, 10.6, again, the reason why I got this product initially is because I know the company is always putting out fire. I know their stuff is always on point and this absolutely lived up to the hype. This particular strain, it's got like a grape gassy smell to it. And I also get hints of kind of like a grapefruit smell, which is great. Um, when I medicated on this, I got the feelings that you were definitely supposed to get based off of the terpenes. I got a very euphoric and relaxed high. And when I medicated on like more than I usually do, I definitely got a little giggly, which I really, really loved. Um, another thing is... When I medicated with it, when I smell it, I smell a lot of grape and gas. And like I said, that grapefruit. But when I actually hit it, I smell nothing but grapefruit, which I really love grapefruit, so I have no problem with it. Um, this is something I would probably recommend for more experienced people just because it is more of a heavy hitter. Um, the THC isn't as high as it is on other extracts, so it's at a 79.8%. So for people who have a lower tolerance, I would recommend it, but at a very low dose, go low and slow, just in case. Um, did it live up to the hype? Absolutely. And I would definitely get it again. So if y'all see this on the shelf, check it out. Peace.